Welcome to your Nexus 2 tutorial. This video covers the basic workflow for managing your reference video in IMU data post capture. It is important that these steps are completed soon after capture and must be completed before any trials or folders are renamed or relocated. This video assumes you have already collected data which includes reference video and or IMU data. If you would like information on capturing data, please see the capturing data tutorial. Please note, this video will not go into detail on either process. If you would like more information, please refer to the tutorials in the description below. When reference video is initially captured, it is saved in a raw format and typically on a solid state drive. Therefore, it is necessary to transfer the video files after capturing to convert the raw files to AVI format and to move them to the appropriate session folder so they can be viewed in Nexus. Because problems can arise if trials or folders are renamed and the video drive can quickly run out of space, it is best practice to transfer your video files immediately after collection. Once data collection is complete, I will navigate to the File Transfer Batch Processing interface and select the File Transfer tab. I can see the list of trials with video files still on the video drive. I can click the Select Untransferred button, which will select all the trials that have not yet been transferred. I'll choose my preferred video compression and then click Transfer Files. You will see the status of the transfer in the Progress column. In the Data Management, you will also see a yellow M appear next to each trial as the video files are transferred. If you have a lot of trials, this could take some time. Once all the trials have been transferred, it is best to delete the raw video files to free up space on the video drive. Click the Select Transferred button, then Delete Selected Files. If you have collected IMU data in Nexus, it is essential to transfer the data from the IMU sensors before processing your data. If a trial is open before transferring the data, the preview data will be seen, which is at a lower sample rate and subject to gaps due to Bluetooth interruptions. If a C3D is saved with only the preview data, Nexus will not access the complete data stored on the sensor, even if it is later transferred. The sensor data can then only be accessed if the C3D file is deleted. To transfer data from your IMU sensors, navigate to the IMU tab in the Communications window. Next, cradle the sensors and connect them to the PC. You will see the IMU logo turn orange for all the sensors connected. You can also expand the sensor see all the trials saved on the sensor and their transfer status. Click Select Untransferred to select all the untransferred files, then Transfer Files. When I expand the sensors again, I can see that all trials have been transferred successfully. Once the transfer is complete, I'll click Select Transferred, then I can either clear devices or erase devices. Clearing devices will remove the trials from the transfer list. However, the data will still remain on the sensor. Erasing devices will erase all the raw data from the sensors. Note that erasing devices will clear all data on the sensor, including data collected on other platforms such as CaptureU. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, don't hesitate to contact us at support at